thanks for being here with us. We're so excited to see you. Thank you for having me. So, uh, admittedly, I did get myself a self tanner, uh, a spray me tan too. yesterday <laughs> because I have an event coming up this weekend. And lesson learned. Uh, I needed to do some help here on my on my fingers and my toes. Yeah. So well, tell me a little bit about what Absolutely. happened here. What did I do wrong? Well, <laughs> obviously, self tanning is so much safer than getting UV light. So we encourage everybody, if you haven't tried it, to at least try it once. Okay. But be careful because there's so many things you can do to kind of mess up a tan, particularly on your hands like yes. yours. So number one is to put moisturizer on those dry areas, your knuckles, your elbows, your ankles. Put the moisturizer on, and so the tan solution, which is dihydroxyacetone, which is a sugar doesn't bind to it so it doesn't get crusty and drier and darker okay. so that protects those areas and obviously wash your hands really well after you do it which i did not do yeah. but if you have a mitt at <laughs> home that's actually the best way to apply because okay. it goes on evenly everywhere that's so then any your hands don't get kind of crusty yeah. 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 okay exactly okay so what about your feet that's kind of like the next thing that people talk about that they potentially like might mess up when they're doing it th themselves at home yeah doing the moisturizer helps because the feet are drier there's more skin layers on the feet yeah. and the hands so it attaches to those drier skin areas more so blend with a makeup brush on okay. your feet and that helps okay. in the tops of your hands okay, okay. so what happens if uh, you know you put too much self tanner on you're too dark it's the wrong shade I mean how can you get it off how can yeah. you fix that what do you suggest yeah, so I always suggest testing it first I've had patients come in where they've had allergic reaction too sure. so make sure you test yeah. it first the color yeah. and if you're you know make sure you're not allergic but tan removers are now available as go. well mm. and you can use tan removers around the nails you can use acetone like nail polish remover okay. to do it and um, worst case scenario just grab a washcloth and a lot of soap and try to kind of blend yeah. as much as possible about how quickly does a tan remover work or acetone probably really quick but yeah. how about how quickly does a uh, tan remover go because like say you're headed out the door you uh, wake up you shower it all off if people sleep on it uh, with it overnight and then they have to run out the door it's usually within minutes okay it work. yeah okay. if you use a washcloth it within within minutes let's you talk a scrub. little bit yeah. I know I vividly remember an incident where I had to scrub my friend's self tanner off uh, <laughs> yeah. with just minutes to spare trying to help her out but I, I want to talk to you a little bit about you know the risk of skin cancer because of people tanning in the sun and really yeah. how this has maybe in today's day and age helped cut down on that has 100%. it at all 100% it's helped because people feel like they don't need a base tan before they go out a lot of young people go and get tanning booths tans yeah. because they feel like they need a base before they go into the sun this really cuts down on that but be really careful this does not mean you're protected against the sun you have to wear yeah. the same level of sunscreen it's not going to protect anything it's just going to make your skin a little bit darker okay yeah people say that with your face as well how you need to always protect your face and your neck skin so how can we use tanning drops instead of you know maybe sitting out in the sun for too long sure I love tanning drops this is one of my favorite um, tan drops are hard to use you got to really learn how to use them yeah. I usually tell people don't put this on your face right away mix it in with a moisturizer and then blend from the outside to the inside don't start in the middle because it actually will darken the center of your face which doesn't usually look the best so start from the outside and then blend into your hairline it's a bit like yeah. contouring with like your makeup I was Absolutely. gonna say that's yeah. a big popular trend right now now that I'm seeing on social media, yeah, people yeah. taking uh, tanner and literally contact contouring with a makeup brush. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, Dr. Lily, thanks so much oh, for thank having you. us. We appreciate it. Some thank good you. tips that I'm also going to be taking home we with need me them. tonight. <laughs> yeah. And there's how you can uh, contact her if you'd like. All of her information there on the website.